that neat? That is neat. He's stuck. He's screwed. You already fed him? Well, he was hungry. <sighs> brutal. Nature is so brutal. Dang, nature, you scary. Remotely close. What are you doing? Come on. I'm coming. We're gonna go get a sundew. What's a sundew? It's a carnivorous plant. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Miss Lily. Bye. We're not the only ones going hiking today. Well, it's beautiful. It's almost 60 degrees. The more important thing is there's sun. <laughs> Whoa, what's up with the guns? Sun's out, guns out. I don't have those guns, so I got the real gun. <laughs> it's the best I can do. Do I look ripped right now? Wow. Ripped. You want to go show them our secret spot? Come here. Hey. Come here. Oh, it's tiny. carnivorous plants. Plants eat bugs. Hey, Nick, come here. Come here. They're sticky. Huh. Not neat. That is neat. Lily, no! Lily, no! Lily, come on! She squished them. <laughs> There's plenty. They're pretty resilient. If a plant died every time an animal stepped on it, there'd oh, there'd be, be no no plants. no plants at all. Oh, did you just squish one? Tell me more about sundews. So they got this little sticky stuff, and it's very very sweet. So mm -hmm. it's gonna attract the bug. The bug gets stuck on the stickies, and slowly dissolve them. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> He's stuck. He's screwed. So it's it, um, related to the Venus fly, Venus fly trap. To the Venus fly trap. They exist in really harsh environments mm -hmm. where the soil has like very minimal nutrients because most of the nutrients the plant gets is actually from the bugs. That's why it's grown in this kind of, I don't know, rusty watered, dryish little bed. Yep. Wanna go look for moss? Oh yeah, let's go find some moss for them. We'll probably steal some of that moss. Uh, that might be the right type, actually. We need to investigate. Okay. Did you bring the book? No. Good. Because they need a moss that is a specific type because it absorbs water better. Yes. Action. Action. Uh, so we're looking for this specific family of mosses. It's basically what peat moss is made of. Uh, there's a bunch of different mosses that grow out here, but these have a certain structure that absorbs water like a sponge really well. Apparently it's really good for growing seeds and plants in, and I found some. I'm so proud. Thank you. Oh, look at these Christmas trees. Oh, that's like the perfect Christmas tree. Why are you shopping for Christmas trees in June? He's so far from home though. We're so far from Christmas. Tell me that's Get not like the, the perfect moss. Christmas tree. It's a nice Christmas tree. Oh, yes. So this is all actually dead moss, yeah. and it just works to soak up water for these guys. What we'll do, I'd imagine, is we'll just take some of this with us and put our little sundew in it. And we'll take this and dry it out some, chop it up a little bit, and mix it with sand to make our soil for them. Okay. So it's called sphagnum moss, also known as peat moss. That's compared to, say, these are kind of thick and caterpillar-like. And these are thin and fern-like, maybe? Mm -hmm. I'm glad I found this so quick and easy. I was kind of worried we have to search a bit. This stuff's expensive in the store, too. <laughs> we got it for free! So you put this in, and this acts as the, uh, the water sucker-upper. And we mix it with sand so that it's not too wet, and the sand helps drain the soil. The thing is, there's not a lot of nutrients in this because it's not actual soil. But that works well for the sundews because they get all their nutrients from the bugs that we're going to feed it. I think we're going to adopt this little guy. It doesn't go very deep. No, I guess not. That's it? That's it. <laughs> Holy cow. Like he just kind of peeled up. Alright, that's our little buddy. Do you want to tell everybody what we're going to name him? You, <laughs> it was your idea to name the plant. You say it. You say it. His name is Supposa. Yeah. Oh, there's a little leaf. Oh, God, that's freaking cute. Look how tiny that guy is. <laughs> oh, it's a little baby. It's <laughs> so cute. I was thinking of the names of areas around where we live over here and Supposa Bay. That's a big name for a little plant. He's, yeah. got, some, he's got some yum yum. All right. Okay, put him, in, put him in his pot. Give him a nice little. 
So one thing you want to be careful about, we didn't want to take a whole bunch because this is literally the only patch we were seeing and it goes from about there to there. It's like 20 feet of them. We might even like spread them. We might put some You can make house. more by popping off one of his little hands and you just lay it flat and work them out of it. Suppose a propagation. I suppose so. I was waiting for that one. <laughs> you just stuck a bug on one? I killed one. Where at? You stuck it on Supposa already? Yeah, well, you look kind of Where hungry. Oh, there. You already fed him? Well, he was hungry. Why are they called a sundew? Oh, I don't know. What does it look like? Oh. Why are they called a sundew? Hey, come back. Why are they called a sundew? Because they look like little suns that are, have dew on their ends. Like it's morning dew. Let's bring him home. Get your gun. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, my goodness. This one is Supposa, and that one is wet. <laughs> yeah, she already, she already named the plants. <laughs> Just Peter. <laughs> oh god. I love him. <laughs> What's the matter? I didn't like that. What did you eat? You show them. You're eating it. She ate watermelon berry stock, and she did not like it. It just tastes like a plant. Supposa needs to go home. He's tired. Welcome home, Supposa. <laughs> Eventually he'll come inside, but he has to acclimate first. A little delicate, so you gotta go slow. Let's go eat dinner, then we gotta actually make his real soil for him. <coughs> I'm choking on spruce tip or something. I was just looking at a sundew and that mosquito that's in it is still alive. And he's brutal. eating it. Brutal. Nature is so brutal. Dang nature, you scary. Uh, time to make the potting soil. Where are you going? Hey, come back. What are you doing? So we gotta mix the potting soil for our little sundew. Uh, we've got our moss here and I chopped this up and dried it out a little bit to kind of make sure that everything's dead because you don't want it, you know, growing. I got some sand and then uh, we're gonna put in some volcanic dust because that's normal and something that people have laying around. You're gonna break it into here. <laughs> You helping? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Volcanic dust. Oh my gosh. She's gonna come out and like attack it. If she smells it, we're in trouble. Feels like a thing. All right, I got Sposa. There's his little buddy, Ijuwe. Can you pull this rock out? Yeah, he doesn't need his rock. Unless it's his security rock. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> Get him nice and tucked in. Don't smush into it. I'm trying. This looks like a real thing. It looks like Hobby Lobby. Supposa, all cozy in his sphagnum moss bed. We ID'd this. I have a little book that shows all the plants around here, and it seems like this is called Shaggy Sphagnum. Shaggy Sphagnum's a good name. Do you know what they used to use peat moss for? People put it in the cracks of their wood cabins as insulation. They chink their cabins with it. And I think I'm allowed to say that word in that context, in that context only. <laughs> Here we go, okay. first watering into our shaggy, yes! Ah! I'm gonna call that good. I think he's more than okay. Um, well I guess he's gotta go outside because that's... Alright, let's put him out there. That's where he lives. I kinda feel bad putting him out on I the I hate porch. putting him outside, this hurts my heart. I think right. that might be where he lives now. Alright, suppose that. Good luck in yeah. the night, the dark and scary the Darkness. night is dark and full of tigers. And bears. And bears. What if a bear comes by and whacks him right off? What if a squirrel comes by and digs him up? Maybe he's going to be full of bugs tomorrow. Maybe he's going to have a great old time. Well, he already has three, and you said we could overfeed it. So he, he doesn't need, don't eat any more. What? Now we... Good thing you cut all that rhubarb today. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> Did you just... Get... You caught him a bug? I got him a bug. It's the, what is it, about a month update? I guess so, yeah. About a month update. What's he doing? Wow, he's got like things. He's got flowers, you could have this bug. There you go. He's got his stickies back. He is doing like Where'd the you, best Which he's one done. did you feed? I said that one. Look at his flowers. You'll have to show pictures when he actually flowers. He's getting so big. Good job. We didn't kill him. Oh, wow. I almost knocked you out. <laughs>